This is the remains of my 26 year old Metro water heater that is sadly no longer with us. We're going to take a look at how this works, what all the components do and I will explain what caused it to fail. But first let's see what the inside of a 26 year old water heater looks like. Here we have 26 years of build up from inside a water heater. And now when we've cleaned this out we will have one more look inside. Here's the user manual for the water heater and here you will see something beautiful the schematic right in the user manual. So they were even nice enough to number the different components and list a short description. So we'll start here. This is the mains input. It's this cable right here. It can operate with one or two phases. It then goes to this over temperature fuse which is this box right here. And it uses this small copper rod to measure the operating temperature and if it gets too hot it will trip the fuse. So this is a fail-safe mechanism. And then we continue to the thermostat relay. And that's this thing right here. So here you decide how hot you want your water. And this determines at which water temperature the relay will trip. And it measures the water temperature with this long copper rod. And then we have the light bulb. This indicates when voltage is applied to the heating element. And then we have the last component, the heating element itself. And it's this thing here. Now this is in really bad shape. It kind of falls apart as I'm touching it. But it still works. It's just a resistive heating element. The current simply goes through these wires and heat it up. And it's connected to these terminals. So we have one more component that's not in the schematic. And that is the sacrificial rod. You can see this one has even fallen apart. So the point of this thing is to make sure that the water heater does not rust. Now I'm not a chemist but I will try to explain the basics of this process. So in a water heater you have water and oxygen. And the oxygen attracts electrons. And it can take these electrons from steel or iron. And that is when the rusting process starts. So to avoid that you have these sacrificial rods. And these are made up of aluminum and magnesium as I understand. And those elements are more prone to release electrons than steel and iron. And therefore the oxygen molecules take the electrons from the sacrificial rod instead of the water heater barrel. And then we have this insert which houses the heating element and the copper rods that is used to measure temperature. So I've measured all the components here and I've measured the voltages on all the stages. And I couldn't find anything wrong with it. So what ultimately caused it to fail was that the barrel had started to rust 
and it started to leak. Water that leaked out was running down to the lowest point of the barrel, which is where you find the heating element connectors. These two got wet, it shorted the voltage to ground. So what happened was that the earth leakage circuit breaker tripped. You can see at the bottom of this insert it has started to rust. And as I understand, when a water heater starts to rust, there's not much you can do.